What is up you guys, my name is Thomas and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest and the best way to take high quality long exposure shots on your iPhone. Alright guys, so before I get into the video, if you're new here, my name is Thomas and I make all kinds of Apple videos. But lately I've been focusing a lot on iOS 14 and jailbreaking. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. And in exchange for me giving Otis a piece of cheese, be sure to hit the notification bell and select show all notifications. Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, so to use the long exposure, you're gonna need to download an app. It's called Spectre and it costs $2.99. But trust me, for long exposures, it's really worth it. And the reason I say this is because not only does this app have a great reputation, it was actually featured um, by Apple and given their app of the year award uh, for 2019 but it eliminates something that as somebody who likes taking a lot of photos is very annoying when you want to take long exposure photos you need to have a very stable camera which means using a tripod and you also have to carry around a heavy DSLR with you and so if you're going on a hike or something and you want to take a long exposure of a say a beach you gotta set up your tripod, your DSLR, which to carry is just annoying. Then you gotta set your settings and it'll take you a good like 10 minutes to get set up for the photo. But with Spectre, it does two things and it does them pretty good. So one, it will take your long exposure shot. And the way it does is it takes many, many images and blends them together to create a long exposure effect and it can use AI to determine whether you want to get photos with light trails or photos with just a long exposure, for example, of a beach to get a glossy feel to the water. So it does that. And then what it also does great, it uses AI to stabilize your image. So I can just be holding my phone up, taking the long exposure, and it will use AI to automatically stabilize my photo rather than me needing to bring with me a heavy tripod. So let's just take a look at how this app actually functions. So I'm walking over here to this fountain right here and I can just hold my phone by it and you'll see a little green box at the bottom and once you see it says stable you can click the button and it will take the long exposure shot. Now you have some options in the bottom right corner uh, three second exposure, five second exposure. Let's try that right quick. And just try to keep your phone as steady as possible and keep the stable text up there. It's pretty easy. It has good AI. And nine second exposure. Let's test that one out. So I'm just gonna wait for it to say stable. I'm gonna start exposing the shot. Wait a good nine seconds. And what's nice is you can see a preview of the long exposure photo as you take it. So the longer you hold your phone, the uh, more like exposed it will look. And now we have all our shots. And you can also click and adjust your exposure. And there's this little auto light button, which just allows you to customize whether you have light trails or not on your photo, but it does it automatically. And you can tap on the bottom left corner and here you can view your images. So you can press on them to view them kind of like a live photo and it will you know, play out as the exposure gets longer. It will, you know, show you what that preview looks like uh, of the long exposure shot. And as you can see with the three seconds, this one, the five seconds and the nine seconds, um, the longer it's exposed, the more smooth water gets uh, and stuff like that. And I just want to show you some of the cool things you can do with Spectre. So this shot right here is an example of its light trails. So this is actually a burner on my stove and I took a long exposure and moved my phone in circles and created this cool pattern with light trails from the flame. This is a beach and what's nice, what I really like about Spectre is with the image stabilization, it does a really great job of preserving details, yet it can make like the ocean surface really smooth and it's, it does a good job at that. And just to give you an example of blurry long exposures, iOS does have a tool that allows you to automatically convert live photos to long exposures. So here's a photo of a waterfall. And as you can see, 
with a live photo, you know, you can see the movement of my device. So when I turn it into a long exposure, it looks cool, yeah, but it looks all blurry as well. And with Spectre, you don't have that blur because it uses AI to stabilize the image rather than doing, you know, a weird croppy thing that just looks bad in my opinion. Anyway guys, the link to download Spectre will be in the description below, as well as a coupon to download it for free. Whoever the first viewer is can just grab that. Anyways guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.